plaintiff, Stacy Pettis, does hair for a living. And for the last five years, the defendant has been harassing her, despite not even knowing each other. Stacy claims the defendant uses social media to defame her and her salon, so she's suing. Defendant Sean D. Gayden insists Stacy is the one who initiated the harassment on social media. And then she started threatening Sean D. She's countersuing for the harassment and slander. Go ahead. Okay, um, I'm proud owner of Lady Lush Beauty Lounge in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, Ms. Shondi Gaydens has been slandering me for about five years now. She had posted pictures on her social media of me and my husband. How did you all meet? How did you all meet? I don't know her. This is the second time in life ever seeing her. The first time was she called state board on me and told them that I was doing hair at home and they called us in for a uh, meeting. Did you ever find out where she knew you from? She don't know me. She, knew she found you. me. Did she you ever found find me out how she she came media. to know of you. Through social media. What did she come to find, to your um, knowledge? I'm not the only person that she harassed. There's other hairstylists that she harassed also. Mm -hmm. I feel like she um, goes through social media and see who's a good hairstylist and she'll uh, post stuff about them. And is she a hairstylist as well, it sounds like? She's a, yeah. It's okay, so she's trying to hurt other folks' business yeah, I feel like she's to, trying to uplift take her out. own? Yes, sir. All right, got it. How has she done that? Um, I moved out to Las Vegas in um, July of 2013. I noticed that she started hashtagging and posting pictures of me and my husband in 2014. Um, she, me and her had some- Well, hold that, on. What would she say about you and your husband? <laughs> you said she more than she one? Yeah, she didn't call me fat, didn't call my husband fat. Um, she'll post pictures of us side by side saying that me and her should do a weight loss challenge with her and her fiance now, which makes no sense. What you call that movie? Uh, something like this dangerous white woman or something? Oh, like uh, that. Single, <laughs> single white female. Single, single white, white female, female. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this single black female, go ahead. All <laughs> yeah, right. she will. Uh, she will post pictures of us side by side, um, which doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, she will, never met you. No, she ain't never sat in my chair. I, I ain't never did her hair. She never that did pictures my of hair. You and your husband she, on talking about. When me? I talk to this, when people ask me about it, because she didn't post it over almost five hundred pictures on what? my Yelp account. What does she say under the post? She didn't wrote a post and said that, oh, um, color purple. I take that as a compliment because Whoopi Goldberg is a phenomenal woman. Right. She posted a picture saying me uh, years ago of my makeup saying I'm casket ready. Uh -huh. What does that mean? I don't, she didn't post the pictures of my, my salon license. She didn't, it's, it's, it's so much. She didn't call me fat, didn't call my husband fat. Um, she'll post pictures of us side by side saying that me and her should do a weight loss challenge with her and her fiance now. What you call that movie? Uh, something like this dangerous white woman or something? Oh, like uh, single, <laughs> single white female. Single white female, yeah. yeah. Plaintiff Stacy Pettis says for the past five years, the defendant has been harassing her and defaming her, despite the fact that they don't even know each other. Okay, let me hear from you, ma'am. This is the strangest thing. Really? Stacy contacted me in 2013 to do work with her. Do I was already work? licensed. I'm a licensed braider. Okay, how did she reach you? She reached she asked... me through Facebook asking me to send her clients because we do two different okay. styles of braids. I okay. declined because she was not licensed. In 2015, she contacted me again, asking me to refer her, and I told her no because she's on social media, again, talking bad about me. My work is ugly. Um, I don't break my clients. Oh, and she came to know of you on the internet, asked you for clients. You didn't give her clients, so she turns on you in 15 and starts bashing you. That's what you're exactly. saying? Exactly, yes. All right, go ahead. What happens then? So <laughs> then it started to threat. She started threatening me, saying, do you want to fight your blank is past due and i have the text message from her telling me it's my whooping is past due am i ready to get beat by her what were you gonna say ma'am um she sent me a picture of my daughter 
my daughter at the age she, right now, she's Damn, eight. I know old. you all have done all this she nonsense. Didn't Ma'am, a, quiet. Yes. She just told me what you did too. So my question to you is, did you reach out to her first? Did you reach out and in 2013, send her something asking that she send you clients that she does not serve? No, not that I'm aware of. I re I did email her and ask her why was she hashtagging my name. And, um, Ma'am, I didn't ask you that. I asked if you ever reached no. out to her first. No, not that I can remember, not at all. Well, you would remember that because it's very clear whether this woman start your testimony is that out of the blue, this woman start harassing you and defaming she, she your called, business. Hold she, on. You come and say out of the blue that this woman just called you or went on the internet and didn't even know you, just suddenly start bashing you, suddenly start defaming your business. And then when I ask you, do you ever remember reaching out to her first? You talking about not that you remember and not that you know of. That should be very clear. It should be very clear when a woman reaches out to her rat shoe for no reason. What are you talking about? I'm not sure, not that I know of. <laughs> I reached out to her. Eh. No. That should have been no, Judge. The woman reached out to me, defaming me. Never heard of her in life. Had you heard of her in 13? No. All right. You have some evidence that she reached out to you first. This two, you may not have something from 2013. I but. don't have to. I got, uh, not 2013, but I have her posting when she was saying that this lady is making fake appointments and I'm too old to make fake appointments and uh, I need to grow No, no. Up. I want to hear where she, I want I some evidence have, where she reached out to you Your first. Honor, I have her in 2015 email. All right. Who has evidence of who reached out first or who criticized? Size first. I have 2012. One of y'all, how old are you? Nearly 50, aren't you? Yes, yeah, I'm on the internet her mama. talking, talking but crazy. She's not my mom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Let's get that straight. What do you You're have showing mom. your first communication with you? Just her introducing I have, um, who I am. I'm such and things. such, and you ain't this, or you are that. A lot of whatever it is. No, first. First communication that you have with her. I have text messages from 2015. Or the first communication she put on the internet regarding you. And you get the first communication that you know of that either you or she put on the internet regarding one or the other. Oh, well, that's just, that's the email. Hold on. This is the email. That's the email. Right, but is this the earliest communication? This you is 2015, the earliest that you have today. We know you said it went to 13, went far back as yeah, that. Yeah, I don't have 13. All right, that, so you have 15, have August 15. 15. When she, when she reached out to me. And that's the earliest you have today is August 15? Yes, 2015. Okay, hello, this is Braids babe, by Stacy. I know that you don't like me, and I just wanted to know why. Are you trying to do business with me? <laughs> uh, I would have, I would have DM'd you, DM. You 50 years old no, on the Instagram, <laughs> but I noticed that you blocked me. You blocking people at 50. That's a message that I sent. This is what you saying. I sent that to How her are you? I'm uh, 29. All right, well, all of it makes sense then. <laughs> Go ahead for you to say this nonsense. <laughs> It should be very clear when a woman reaches out to her rat shoe for no reason. What are you talking about? I'm not sure, not that I know of. <laughs> I reached out to her. Eh. Oh, that should have been. No, Judge, the woman reached out to me defaming me. Never heard of her in life. Plaintiff Stacy Pettis says for the past five years, the defendant has been harassing her and defaming her, despite the fact that they don't even know each other. What do you have, ma'am, the earliest communication? This, These are, this is the don't first? Have dates on this is the first? That I have, yes. December of 15th. This is after August. I want to know why you are posting my picture on your page. Did you post her picture on your page? I She's did. asking you about I it. Did. Why did you do that? Because she keeps talking about me. She won't stop. Ma'am, you should have stopped. She's a kid. This young lady is a child. That's who does all this internet fighting. Children. So you children need to understand that. And I'm calling you children. I don't care if you're 30. Because you're acting like it. Stop. 
You should have said that. Why didn't you say you're behaving like a young girl? I don't indulge in this. Instead, you're going to engage her with this. And you a hundred. So I'm sorry. You, you're <laughs> going on 50. Half of I call her a teenager. If I call her a teenager, I can call you a hundred. Both of y'all claims are dismissed. Stop Thank it. You. All this nonsense. <laughs> I'm going to say this once, and I'm not going to say it again. <laughs> Chris, control your b***h, okay? Whoa, Please do. Woo, Please do, because woo, I never, bye. not once, bye. girl.